Okay, this is the result of inputting a .ele file. It's a tetrahedral, tetrahedral elements um, created by TetGen. The, the way I, I formed this was to take a regular dodecahedron, use the scatter function to scatter points. Basically, I, I could scatter any shape I wanted, but uh, scatter little objects whose centroids would be the points inside of the dodecahedron. Export those as a .node file, which is a point cloud and then re-import the, the, the Delaunay, Delaunay tetrahedralization of the point cloud. So it's a, a little different than all the things we normally do with TetGen and the, the result is sort of an approximation of a dodecahedron but there's there's more cool things I want to show you. It's uh, We don't know exactly how we're going to use all this stuff but um, <clears throat> one of the things we're going to do is, is create alpha shapes uh, which are approximating shapes. Um, go ahead and look up, look up alpha shape. So let's do select all these guys. Lots more. Let's do color random. Go. Okay. I did it right. Well, I don't know if I was in face mode or object mode, I have a feeling I might have been in, uh, I don't know, I have this weird feeling I'm, I was in face mode when I did that. Let me, let me do it one more time just to be sure. Hit the B key, hit the B key. Yeah, I probably... <coughs> bunch of tetrahedra here and the ones on the surface sometimes become low quality look up tet gen quality it's circum radius divided by shortest edge length so what we're gonna do is go like this tetrahedral quality 2.5 say okay and I think the majority of those probably on the surface. Not all of them, but probably the majority. So let's go ahead and hit the delete key and see what we got. All right. So I sort of selected a large coating of flat and badly uh, shaped tetrahedra that were sort of needed to, to shim out the surface a little bit. shape. Here's our new sort of crazy distribution of little tetrahedral chunks. Smoothed once. So doing stuff with point clouds and, and working towards having some code that'll work on alpha shapes. Hope you enjoyed this weirdo show.